Hello, welcome to another episode of A Salt and Buttery with Intent to Satisfy. This Today's recipe is a chicken tortilla casserole. It's a wonderful way to use to use up leftover chicken or turkey or turkey. I have done it with turkey. I've even done it with duck. Okay. Um, but it's a little bit hard to get from a duck carcass. It's a little bit hard to get enough meat to do this because you need like four cups of meat. But like I said, works great for chicken, works great for turkey, no problem. Anyway, the first thing we do is you want some kind of casserole pan or, or a pot that you can put a big pot that you can put a lid on. Okay. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take some tortillas. Now I like to do this with flour tortillas. Saves me a little bit of work actually. And my family likes it. So, and I like it. So, hey, life's good. Now you can choose to do this with corn tortillas, but if you do this with corn tortillas, you're going to have to crisp them first. So if you're going to do that, you can actually get away with using some already crisped up um, tortilla chips, okay, or tortilla strips. Now I put a layer of the um, tortilla, tortilla strips in the pot first because that helps keep the bottom from getting soupy. Then I take some, I actually use uh, plain yogurt or a combination of sour cream and whipping cream, which I'll have uh, in the instructions, I'll have all of that. And I mix that together along with some of my favorite salsa. And you can use however, whatever spiciness level of salsa that you like. This is one of the areas where you can definitely change it. Okay. If you like a really spicy salsa, then go ahead and do that. If you like a really mild salsa, then do that. So now I have four cups of chopped up or shredded chicken, okay? Now what I'm going to do is I've mixed the sour cream and the whipping cream or the or just the yogurt and the salsa together, okay? And then I'm going to do half of this into here. And trust me, Mixing them together saves you a lot of work. Do some spreading around because you want it there. Okay. Then we're going to take half of the chicken and we only used a little bit of the tortilla strips. Okay. But use half of the chicken. And like I said, this is a great way to use up leftover chicken or turkey. And it comes out a little bit little bit different from the usual uh, turkey tetrazzini or turkey sandwiches or whatever. I mean, hey, Thanksgiving's coming up. Might as well have more recipes for leftover poultry, huh? Now comes the good stuff. Cheese. Ooh, ooh, ooh we like our cheese. Yes, we do. Half of the cheese. Now, half of the tortilla strips. Oh. Half of the salsa mix. Or the other half of the salsa mix. The rest of the chicken. Think of it as like layering for a lasagna. Okay, you, except for this, you want some nice thick layers. Okay. Then we're going to switch things up a little bit. We're going to top this with the rest of the tortilla strips. And then we're going to finish it off with cheese. Now we did a, a 
pound of cheese. And this is another part where you can alter it. I've had really good results with uh, Colby Jack cheese, with uh, Mexican blend cheese, okay? But cheese is always good. We like our cheese. We're Americans, we like our cheese a lot, okay? So, there we go. And that is how easy this is to assemble. Then what we'll do is we'll put the lid on it and we'll put it in a 350 degree oven for about 40 minutes. Okay. At that point, everything should be nice and hot and bubbly. We'll pop off the lid, take a look at it, and maybe give it 10 more minutes for browning. So let's go ahead and get the lid on here and get ready and get it in the oven. Yeah. Okay. We have had the uh, chicken tortilla casserole in the oven for about 50 minutes. Now, this is what it looks like now. Now, the reason why this cheese isn't, doesn't melt quite the same way some other cheeses do is because this is actually a goat milk cheese. It melts a little bit differently, but it works really, really well. Like I said, you can use any type of cheese that you really prefer to do. Now I'm gonna put it in the oven just for about 10 more minutes for, for the additional browning in the oven with no cover on it so that it will brown up. Okay, now we have a nicely cooked through chicken tortilla casserole. Mm -hmm. Now, if I was smart, I would let it sit for about 10 minutes, and one option that you can do is when I took the lid off and set it in the oven for crisping, I could have sprinkled some um, Parmesan or Romano cheese over it also. That gives it a more intense flavor, but with the type of cheese that I used this time, I don't have to do that. Another option that you can do is uh, you can serve this with some uh, sliced up avocado. The uh, cool creaminess of the avocado goes really, really well with the cheesiness and, and the chicken and everything else. It is not necessary, but it is a nice option to have. Anyway, this is a uh, chicken tortilla casserole. And once again, thank you for joining me for another episode of A Salt and Buttery with Intent to Satisfy.